Today is Monday, October 1st, 2012. New day. Good morning. I can't believe this is the beginning of the second month of doing this project. Kind of crazy. We're up to Psalm 21. I'm going to say a prayer. Lord, as I start the second month of this project, please help my desire to keep going, stay strong, help the challenges that get in between me and this project to fade away, for me to overcome them one by one. And for today, please help me to be present with the reading and to hear the message you have for me in it. Amen. All right, Psalm 21. For the choir director, a Psalm of David. How the king rejoices in your strength, O Lord. He shouts with joy because of your victory. For you have given him his heart's desire. You have held back nothing that he requested. Interlude. You welcomed him back with success and prosperity. You placed a crown of finest gold on his head. He asked you to preserve his life, and you have granted his request. The days of his life stretch on forever. Your victory brings him great honor, and you have clothed him with splendor and majesty. You have endowed him with eternal blessings. You have, been, you have given him the joy of being in your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. The unfailing love of the Most High will keep him from stumbling. You will capture all your enemies. Your strong right hand will seize all those who hate you. You will destroy them as in a flaming furnace when you appear. The Lord will consume them in his anger. Fire will devour them. You will wipe their children from the face of the earth. They will, have, they will never have descendants. Although they plot against you, their, their evil schemes will never succeed. For they will turn and run when they see your arrows aimed at them. We praise you, Lord, for all your glorious power. With music and singing, we celebrate your mighty acts. Hmm. I'm just um, noticing the praising of the Lord's power and all these terrible things that he will do, but they're not terrible if I think about the fact that they're defending me and that it's not people that are being destroyed, it's my negative thoughts, my negative desires, the things that I would do, that I would want to do or feel tempted to do that would harm those around me that I actually love. Um, verses 1 through 7 are all these victorious blessing things on the on this king and that verses 8 through 12 are all defeating the enemies and then the 13th is just one of praise I'm just noticing the way that these psalms are often able to be chunked up into sections that intrigues me um, the king I th ugh. Kings and priests have representat are representative of things. Pretty sure the king represents truth. And I'm not sure what the original translation is, but um, like what the original word in the Greek is, but in the English anyway, the pronoun for the king is always masculine. And to me that means this is thoughts-oriented versus will-oriented. I could be wrong about that, but this is more about what I'm thinking, not what I am feeling necessarily. And that speaks to me because lately I've been thinking about, um, well, thoughts and feelings and how even if I feel lousy, even if I'm feeling depressed or low or bad about myself, um, if I ask the Lord for help, especially. I can't really do this on my own, but if I ask the Lord for help, I can change my thinking. Sometimes I may feel really crummy, 
and so my thinking is bad and my feelings don't feel good inside and if I can let go of the need to feel better and I really learn I really learn to turn to the Lord I can ask for his help in changing my thoughts in attacking those thoughts from hell really that are coming in and and that's that second piece. You'll capture all your enemies. Your strong right hand will seize all those who hate you. I'm seeing that as the Lord can come in and capture those thoughts that are telling me I'm not good enough. I'm a mistake. I have nothing good to offer the world. And just throw them away. Get rid of them. I may still feel like I'm struggling. I have experienced depression in my life sometimes. And there's definitely a sense of my thoughts go into a really negative sp downward spiral about myself and my feelings are really I think what start me there and when I just don't feel good I don't feel happy and then the thoughts bring it in to sort of explain the feeling that's my reflection on depression I'd be really interested to hear from anybody who's also dealt with depression whether that sounds at all like what they've experienced but what I'm thinking is the Lord is always there, even if I feel crummy, and wants me. I don't think the Lord wants me to feel depressed. I don't think that's a productive state. Um, temptation is, but depression is hard to distinguish, but distinct, I think. Um, and I don't think a state of depression is actually useful. So I don't think the Lord wants me to stay in depression, and I think that attacking language in this is talking about getting those thoughts in better shape. You know, the whole first part is the victorious king, the king being an intellect thing, the pronouns being male, so we know we're talking about my intellect and my thoughts versus my feelings or desires. And um, it's a little sad because, of course, when I'm depressed, I just want to feel better. Um, and it almost makes it sound in this language like, Feeling better probably comes later. We're going to start by getting the thinking straightened out and defeat those negative thoughts. And, you know, I loved the line, you will wipe their children from the face of the earth. They will never have descendants because it feels like a perpetuating thing. It feels like one thought births another, births another, and they're all these downward spiral sort of thoughts. It's that thought that the Lord can cut it off and they will not have any descendants. So, that's what I get out of this psalm. I think today I'm going to hang in t hang on to this idea that maybe I'm not feeling super happy, but that doesn't mean the Lord can't help me. And it doesn't mean that I can't work on turning to the Lord for help with those negative thoughts that come into my head, with rejecting those negative thoughts and saying, nope, that's not me. So, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please leave a comment below or email me at newdaygoodmorning at gmail.com and have a blessed day.